What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And just a quick one today, we're going to be talking about Kaka. So people have been asking me to do a training guide, a specific training guide for him. I'll keep it short and sweet because there are so many good hole players in the game. If you do not have Kaka, right, I will say that there are brilliant options available if you already have signed a couple of hole players or you already want to go and get a few. We'll show you it towards the end of the video. So if you do not have Kaka, I mean, any of these will do an unbelievable job for you. Pedri's probably my pick. And also Eze, who is a fantastic attacking midfielder. Pellegrini is a brilliant option as well if you don't want that pace. And if you shoot a lot, Messi is fantastic. De Bruyne is fantastic. Bruno is fantastic. Any of these that are whole players, any of at all, you will be able to, to do wonders with them. And look, I know Lampard is very, very slow, but him and Simmons can do a really good job for you as well. I don't really rate Lampard too much, but some people absolutely swear by him. And similarly, Danny Olmo is a fantastic standard player as well, but we'll have a really good standard player at the end of this video. So Kaka himself is actually very easy to train up, lads. I'm going to show you kind of a very complete build of him, and then I'll show you what I would do to tweak him to your playstyle, right? So 83 acceleration, ball control with 82 tight possession and curl straight off the rip. He's got some excellent player skills. He's got standard form, which is on B rating, which is fine. Uh, one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass. He doesn't have low lofted, but he does have double touch at Marseille turn and soul control. I'd try throw flip-flap on him if you could. And I would also try and throw, if you're playing Kaka as your main man, if you're playing him through the middle, I think low lofted pass is a necessity for this card, right? Low lofted pass is an extra player. Additional skill will be huge on this card to create nice space and be able to kind of open up shots um, for your attackers running onto it. But Kaka is one of these players that can do it all, right? He's really kind of like um, a striker type build, the way that we're going to be using him. Um, but showing you guys, obviously, how I would build him and just showing you a couple of tweaks. So we're over on eFootballDB. I would say that even though this guy doesn't go to 97 overall, this is the best overall build. You've got your ball control, dribbling and high possession, as well as low pass and finishing all into the 80s and 90s. And speed and acceleration are really high with that balance at 86. Now, there's a couple of key components to this card, okay? Firstly, you will either be one of two types of players, okay? The first type of player you will be, if you are playing through the middle, is a one-touch pass um, centric player, right? So you might play uh, a lot of one-touch passing, you barely dribble, you're kind of touching and going um, a lot of the time and basically moving the ball as quickly as you possibly can. Um, and, you know, you're probably a high division player. If you are going that route, I would definitely recommend to boost up his... Um, his passing, just a fraction, right? Not that you really need it, but it's more for positioning and more for actually getting the ball into those areas. If you're not going to be shooting a lot, I would make two changes, and that would be to put two there onto the passing, which is 87 low pass, and then we're also going to give it one more tweak, which will bring us to there, right? Now, we'll have one left over. We can pop that onto shooting. That's not a big deal, but you're going to have 87 low pass there, if you want to go that route, you can. Um, you don't need the speed and the stamina as much because you can sub him off. But this is a fantastic card if you want to get that. Now, I would probably go um, all the way. Sorry, I put that into dribbling by accident. It meant to go into passing. So you've 88 dribbling, 88 passing, 83 curl, 95 acceleration, 86 balance. Similarly, right, I would say the best version that I would use of Kaka would actually be this one, where I would just top off his lofted pass at, seven, at 78. And then the rest of the stats, I'm going to pop on to his dexterity. I'm going to go 88 with the dexterity, 97 with the acceleration. I'm not worried about the acceleration, but I want that balance because he's fairly tall. And then I'm going to pop the rest into finishing. And that is, to me, the best build that you can have of him, right? Now, if you are looking for a very similar build of a card, um, Zelinski is quite decent without the, without the finishing, right? So he's not really the best uh, shooter. You're not obviously going to get like for like with him. And the pace is going to be a little bit lacking as well. But a lot of people have been using him and finding a lot of uh, joy with him. He's a fantastic player to have as an attacking midfielder. You can see he goes to 92 overall. He's a whole player. He's got double touch, Marseille turn, long range drive, dip and shot, long range, first time shot, one touch passing, true passing. He doesn't have low lofted, but other than that, he's a fantastic option. So if you do get Kaka, try out that build. I think if you're a passer or a shooter, there's three options for you. Until next time, peace.